question 9 this question is from topic vector and relative velocity let's read the question first a coast guard station receives a distress call from a ship which is traveling at 15 km per hour on a bearing of 150 degree a lifeboat leaves the coast guard station at 1500 hours and at this time the ship is at a distance of 30 km on a bearing of 270 degree. The lifeboat lives in a straight line at a constant speed and reaches the ship at 1540 hours. For the first part of this question we need to find the speed of the lifeboat. We will solve this problem in two different approaches. In our first approach, we will not use the concept of relative velocity, but in the second approach, we will definitely use the concept of relative velocity. Let's try out the first one, the first approach. Uh, let's try to draw the diagram which will be used to solve the problem. Uh, let's draw the velocity vector of the shape which is traveling at 15 km per hour on a bearing of 270 degrees. So now let me draw a line which will be the velocity vector. This is the velocity vector of the ship which is traveling at uh, let's say the Vs in this direction and the Vs is 15 km per hour. Now, uh, let's try to draw the position vector or the position of the lifeboat which is uh, 30 km away and on a bearing of 270 degree. So, the distance between these two lines would be 30 km because the lifeboat is there. Now, let's complete the diagram by connecting these two points or two ends the lifeboat and the velocity vector the position of the lifeboat lifeboat and the velocity vector let's connect them here the ship the sorry the boat will come along this line to reach the ship and we need to find the velocity of the lifeboat now uh, let's mark some letters on the triangle so that we can refer the sides by names. Let's uh, mark the position of the ship with the letter M and the position of the lifeboat with the letter N and their meeting point with the letter O. Now let's try to find the distance traveled by the ship uh, from the time it sends a signal until the lifeboat reaches the ship. MO will be the distance traveled by the ship and the velocity of the ship was 15 km per hour so we can write MO equals to 15 times the time amount of time it traveled. But how long the ship traveled? Let's try to find the boat receives the call at 1500 hours and it reaches the ship at 1540 hours so the duration was 40 minutes so let's write t equals to 40 minutes let's convert it into hours we have to divide by 60 so t equals to 40 over 60 if we simplify this fraction in the simplest fraction it give us it gives us 2 over 3 hours so using this value we can find the length of mo which will be let's use this 15 times 2 over 3 kilometer 15 divided by 5, 3 is 5 5 times 2 is 10 so mo equals to 10 kilometer that means the ship traveled 10 kilometers in 40 minutes. Now 
let's try to find the value of the angle OMN. The bearing of the velocity vector of the ship was 150 degree. Was 150 degree. So, so the value of the angle OMN will be 150 minus 90 that is 60 degree. Now let me scroll down the page a bit. Okay. Now, now in the triangle, we have the length of the two sides as distance and an included angle that is 60 degree by these two sides. We need to find the length of the other side ON as distance. Now let's use the cosine rule. We can write ON equals to the square root of 30 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 30 times 10 times cos 60 degree. Now let me use the calculator and I get the value as 10 times square root 7. Now this is the distance traveled by the speedboat and the time was 40 minutes. So using velocity equals to or speed equals to distance over time we can write the speed of the boat as 10 times square root 7 divided by 2 over 3 which is equal to 15 times square root 7 kilometer per hour so the speed of the lifeboat was 15 times square root 7 kilometer per hour. Now let's use the second approach to get this speed. Now for our second approach uh, the figure will remain the same but this time we will use the relative velocity concept. The direction of the velocity vector of the ship and the direction of the velocity vector of the lifeboat is drawn in the figure. The velocity of the boat relative to ship will be working due west. Let's see how. The velocity of the boat relative to the ship can be written as the velocity of the boat VB minus the velocity of the ship VS. Let's rearrange this equation so we can write the velocity of the boat VV equals to the velocity of the boat relative to ship plus the velocity of the ship. Now using the vector rule we can easily say that the direction vector of the relative velocity will be due west. Now let's calculate the time again. We know that the boat reaches the ship within 40 minutes. So uh, our time t equals to 40 minutes. Let's write uh, the time t equals time is 40 minutes. So let's convert it to hour. So 40 divided by 60 is 2 over 3 hours. Now let's try to find the magnitude of this relative velocity. This velocity will cover 30 kilometer within 2 over 3 hours. So it will be 30 divided by 2 over 3 which is equal to 30 times 3 divided by 2 kilometer per hour which is actually uh, 30 divided by 2 is 15, 15 times 3 is 45 kilometer per hour. So we have found the magnitude of this relative velocity which is 40 kilometer per hour. Now let's use the cosine rule again so we can directly get the velocity of the boat or the speed of the boat is square root of square root of uh, 45 squared plus 
15 squared minus 2 times 45 times 15 times cos 60. Using calculator we can get the value directly as 15 times square root 7. So, 15 times square root 7 kilometer per hour is the speed of the boat. Now, uh, for the second part of this question, we need to find the bearing on which the lifeboat traveled. Here, we can use uh, either the values of distance in the triangle or the values of velocity in the triangle. Let's use them, I mean, let's use both of them side by side. Here, on the left part of the page, we will be using the value of the distances in a triangle to get the bearing. And on the right part of the page, we will be using the values of velocities in a similar triangle to find the value of bearing. So now, let's draw a triangle or sketch a triangle. I'm, draw I'm sketching it roughly. So now I need a north-south line. So that would be my bearing that I have to find out. Let's draw a similar figure on the right part. Okay, so here this will be the bearing. So now on the left part, let's put the values. Let's put this is our 30 kilometers. So let's try 30, then 30 kilometer and that side is 10 kilometer the angle between them is 60 degree the opposite side of 60 degree is 10 times square root 7 let's say uh, that angle is theta degree using sine rule we can write sine theta over 10 equals to sine 60 over 10 times square root 7. 10 and 10 gets cross out. So, we can write theta equals to sine inverse sine 60 over square root 7. If we use the calculator, we get the value as 19.1 degree. Now, let us try to find bearing the bearing will be 270 minus 19.1 degree. So, the result is very close to 251. So, which, which can be rounded off to 251 degree. 251 degree. That is the bearing. Now, let us use the value of the velocities on the right part of the page. This is 45 kilometer per hour. This is 15 kilometer per hour. And that side is 15 times square root 7 kilometer per hour. This angle is 60 degree. Let's say this angle is theta. Now, using sine rule again, we can write sine theta over 15 equals to sine 60 over 15 times square root 7. Now, 15 and 15 gets cross out. So, again we can write uh, theta equals to sine inverse sine 60 divided by square root 7 and this time we know this is 19.1. So, again similar way our bearing will be the bearing will, will be 270 minus 19.1 which is equivalent to 251 degree so we have found the bearing now question 9 is finished now let's move on to the next question